Three, two, We've got one, the Vex one. Scrims coming in. LDZ on Vrax. Cracky on that, Ada. Puts out that recovery and gets the first bit of damage. LDZ playing with guns, and he has been using these guns to great accord all tournament. Tries to put the end neutral air, but the down air stops him from being able to do a little bit more. And then Cider comes out. Neutral air does not connect. Crocky playing with the guns himself. Down air comes out from LDZ, and LDZ chasing Crocky all around the map. He's looking for more. Weapon toss comes out, and Crocky plunges with the D-Light Sare. LDZ beneath the island finds a Sare D-Light Sare himself. And now Crocky, heavily damaged, is going to need to work a little bit to be able to get this lead back. As another Sare comes out. That was the longest charge Vrax down sig I've ever seen. And the second one actually hits. LDZ getting hit by that neutral air. Falls with the side air. Crocky nearly kill percent as LDZ brings out even more down sigs. And that recovery does not pick up Crocky. Crocky, however, in kill percent. Ooh, and the recovery from LDZ to finish off Crocky's first stock. Crocky needs to find something. His gun gameplay just... I don't know how effective it'll be against LDZ in this situation. Nice spear in a neutral air. Got the guns. All these he's got a lance in his hands. And tossing that lance upwards is able to get through. Crocky finds that side air, and Crocky looking for that recovery. Most likely, no, goes for a Sarah instead. I feel like he had an opportunity to kill with recovery there, but he didn't see it. And the down air comes out from LDZ. Downlight as well. It's that Sarah despite the weapon toss, and that bomb oh. nearly goes right back into Crocky's face. Crocky dodges out of the way, and LDZ continues to extend his lead as he does not lose this stock. Neutral air from Crocky. Wants to finish it off. LDZ gets the recovery to rack up some damage and a nair. Oh, I was weird. Ground that ground yeah. pound hit, and was, I guess LDZ was dodging or jumping upwards, and he just got hit by the start starting frame of that ground pound. And Crocky was able to get the KO. Crocky heavily damaged, however. LDZ goes for that pivot end sig, and it just does not work out. That D like clipping, but Crocky not expecting it. Doesn't go for any follow up, and LDZ. Now with the guns, goes for that pivot down air, goes, goes in for the side light with the connect, and Crocky hitting that down air, gets the air himself, is even things up, and that falling down air nearly connects, LDZ recovery. gets the recovery though, and it nearly kills. Health has been evened up, Crocky with these guns, very effective, tries to get in with the dare, not able to do so, there's a Sarah on the LDZ, LDZ's just fishing for the gravity cancel, down signature, weapon toss, Ooh. down air, not gonna connect, not able to get any sort of ground pound on the Crocky, Crocky is gonna have map control. Yeah, he finds that cider. LDZ getting punished for fishing for the weapons that or the moves oh, that he and the did. The weapon toss will finish off that stock for LDZ. And now LDZ behind has to do something about Crocky here, looking for some sort of move. Picks up the lance. He could probably finish it off with a downer cider, but Crocky already finding some damage with that downer. Two downers. LDZ. Wow. What? I guess LDZ. Crocky was going for a signature and just got caught up by that down air. And now LDZ, trying to find this KO, is falling further and further behind. That side six not safe. The end six not safe either. Crocky could have so many opportunities to punish. And he finds that end like end six comes out. LDZ just needs to get this KO and he's been brought into orange already. Recovery again from Crocky, and this looks like it's Crocky's game to lose. LDZ should go to the wall. Wow. Okay, so Crocky went for the Disco read. Didn't work. And LDZ got the recovery from it. So let's see if LDZ can punish Crocky for that. And, uh... It's that nice down air. Pivot down air. Able to avoid the ground pound. And the recovery from Crocky will finish it off. Alright, so Crocky takes game one. The Vrax not working out quite as well as LDZ would like it to. As he was fishing for quite a few signatures there. And it did punish him. So now we're going to be going into game two. Crocky on his way to working towards a bracket reset. Most likely sticking with the Ada. But LDZ doesn't want to switch. He wants to go Vrax. Maps getting banned out. Oh, back out. I don't know... What is happening on my screen? Oh, nope, we're good. They're banning out maps. The maps got banned out. And LDZ will be taking it to Small Blackguard. Interesting option. Not a popular pick as far as maps go. Here we go. Crocky, LDZ, two, game two, winners finals, winners grand finals, excuse me. LDZ. Has the guns. He's got to keep Crocky off of any sort of guns. Gets the gravity cancel down light, but can't follow up with the air. Crocky has guns now. How's this going to work out? Down light, side air for LDZ. Neutral sig, not going to connect. Weapon toss for Crocky. Can't get the nair follow up. 
And now a side there. from Crocky. Goes for that weapon toss follow. -up. Both players in the yellow here. Another weapon toss comes out. LDZ going for that downline, but Crocky able to send him off stage. And the NSIG hits. He's low on jumps. Goes for that reverse NSIG, but that does not connect. LDZ not, does not go that way, but the D-Light Sarah will come out. And LDZ gets hit by that down air. Crocky doing a great job with these guns and almost gets the ground pound, but LDZ finds the recovery. And LDZ looking for that end light, end light follow up. Gets that down air instead. D-Light does not connect, and that ground pound doesn't kill, but he's out of a dodge. Oh my gosh! Down air, and Craggy survives. He went for the he went for the suicide kill trade there, and it just it just didn't work out. Right air for LDZ. Side sick thrown out. Crocky able to avoid it. LDZ gets that down air. Tries to go for a little bit more. Crocky dodges downwards, faking that he was going to jump up for a neutral air. And LDZ looking for that down sink. Does not get it. Recovery comes out. Side air as well. Crocky set off the stage, but is able to recover. And that recovery stops the ground from LDZ. LDZ is having difficulty confirming stocks against Crocky. But the falling stair will do it. Beer in Crocky's hands. LDZ has the lance. Goes for the nair, goes for the weapon toss, but Crocky's the one to get the weapon toss. Yeah, Sidelight Nair coming out. That's the first time we've really seen LDZ use the lance that much. Now trying to continue with the toss of the weapon forward, but finally picks up the gun. D-Light Sarah comes out, takes a lead, goes for a down stick, nearly hits. He was very close to being able to get that punish, and now multiple Sarahs coming out. LDZ looking for that falling side light. Doesn't get it. Crocky gets the side air instead. Well, playing up more side airs. There's a delay Sarah. Crocky puts out that NSYNC. Downer comes out. LDZ finds that falling Sarah as well. Both players heavily damaged with the recovery kills. Oh. LDZ able to finish off that stock with that recovery. Throwing everything. Sticking with the Lance? No. Picks up the guns and gets a dare. Just mixing it up. Throwing all of the weapons and using all of their kits. LDZ is burning a lot to not get anywhere. Whoa. Got to the wall. I'm really that surprised he recovered. Really that was really play. weird. Yeah, side stick comes out. LDZ still alive, using side airs to kind of maneuver around. And Crocky putting up that GC side stick immediately recovers afterwards. But LDZ picks up the gun, gets that Sarah. Right Second Sarah comes out. Ground pound from Crocky. So, oh, but he just ground pounded three times a place and got a kill. Both of them basically even. Crocky has the guns. LDZ picks up a lance. Gets on top. Can't get a hit. There's a weapon toss into a pickup neutral light. Into the pivot down sig. But Crocky, only in the orange, not going to get taken down. That dare from LDZ, so much force, but Crocky gets back up. Oh my gosh, that charge against Sig nearly connected. I thought it was a different signature, but LDZ not managing to connect with it. It's got Crocky in the red. He's looking like he's going to take this game. His end stakes are coming out, but I'm worried that he's going to fish for signatures a little bit too much like he did in game one. Crocky looking for these down airs. That's the third end sig, fourth end sig. LDZ looking for the signature kill. The There's side, the side sig. sig, not going to finish. Can he get the signature? No! Just outside of the range, and the neutral Whoa. the recovery. He nearly loses because of that fish. Side air! LDZ turns it around. Oh gosh, that was so close. He actually almost lost the game for fishing for those N6s. So game one, or game two, goes over to LDZ, and now he makes it a little bit less likely that Crocky's going to get the reset as they go on into game two, or game three of the best of five. Maps are getting banned out. King's Pass is still on the board. No, it's not. Is, is, is Small Great Hall? Nope, Mammoth. Oh, and LDZ switching it up to Roland? That, okay, I wasn't expecting that. I know he likes to play Roland in twos. But we're going to be seeing more of that sword play. Maybe he'll take advantage of the Mammoth Fortress platform to get more triple downlights again. So... We're going to be able to find out exactly how that works here. As LDZ picking up the sword is going to do a little bit more. Now, Crocky has a cider. LDZ really wants to start something here. He's just uh, jumping around, maybe looking for a dare into Nair. There's that Nair that he gets as he falls down. But Crocky has done a great job of covering opponents that are above him. As we saw against Mini Vesson, Mini Vesson tried constantly to do for weapon throws and down airs, and he just hit him with gun Nairs over and over again. Crocky's doing the same thing. Recovery. Nair comes out so quick. LDZ gets a nice little stare. There comes Bears out. from Crocky are just devastating LDZ. LDZ is trying to get on top. Once again, that is the name of the game. Get on top of Crocky and just put damage out and do not let him get away. But LDZ misses both the dare and the nair opportunity. Throws away the sword. Down air, Sarah comes out. Crocky puts out that NSYNC. Sarah from LDZ as well. 
What is he tossing that bomb upwards with Croc? He doesn't have to worry about it. It's not traveling too fast. And a nice neutral light from LDC. Whoa! Oh! The Jade's dodge down saying after the neutral light reads exactly what Crocky was gonna do. And, and that's side sick. sick from Crocky. Wait, he dodges and he actually survives. LDC's got his jumps and he could use the Lance Aerials to make it back. And he does. Punches that ground pound, goes for that ground pound himself. Crocky not finding the ledge guard there. And LDC, while heavily damaged, holds onto that stock. And now picking onto the sword. Goes in for that down light. Crocky puts the recovery out, and LDZ is looking for a little bit more as the side light comes out to Nair as well. Oh, but the side heavy from Crocky. LDZ still alive. Eight defense broken. Down air, not able to get the weapon tossed. And he's still alive from the recovery. You're not kidding. Oh, oh, he tries to recover past that second recovery, but Crocky had to work extra hard to end Roland's stock there. And LDZ has got Crocky sitting in the orange now as he hits that neutral light. Down comes out, bomb goes straight down, LDZ bombs himself, and Crocky throws the weapon out, is taking advantage of that as he hits a neutral air, side light comes out, as does his Sarah, LDZ falls, looking for a weapon, picks up the sword, looking for a down light, does not get hit, and Crocky, playing with the spear, is trying to find the side lights, down air comes out, Boy, Crocky's been spending a lot of time in the air with the spear, More, multiple down airs, and a weapon toss finally comes up, but LDZ dodges out of the way of it, and now he's got Crocky in kill percent, as nares and dares are hitting left and right. Both of them in the red again. LDZ gets a down light, down light, side air, and Crocky's taken down. LDZ sticking with the sword? No, he's gonna be going with the lance. Crocky gets caught by the down air neutral light. LDZ gets the weapon toss neutral air, tries to get something with that lance neutral light, but Crocky is outside of it. LDZ oh, is going no. to the far side. He's got plenty of jumps. Okay. And he makes it back. I was just worried we are going to see him bump his head again, because that's all we saw for the first few hours of the tournament. But he didn't. LDC knows how to recover, and now hitting it with that side air is looking like he's going to take game three as that weapon toss comes out, but Crocky gets that recovery, and that does kill. Gun recovery being quite strong, and Crocky evens it up one-to-one. -one. LDC going for a downer, gets hit by that neutral light. Crocky finding another neutral air, gets LDZ closer towards the deep yellow, third neutral air, Crocky finds some even more nares with the guns now, but LDZ Side gets air. him in the, in the middle of the stage, L whoa, what? LDZ what are you doing, no jumps, he's down, Crocky knows it, gives him the double taunt, huh, that, I'm wondering if that ground, that, that ground ground could have been a bait, oh whoops, I accidentally put the, He's going to the wrong place, but Crocky, yeah, he confirms it. It's just like, oi, LDZ, off the bottom of the stage, all ground pound that, and LDZ just kind of like, wait a second. Gives off the, uh, the face bomb taunt as he falls to his death, and game three goes to Crocky. Crocky looking at the reset. LDZ with his sword and lance play. Three, just a slight two, mistake at the end. One, I thought he was wrong. relatively effective. And now he's got the Great Hall. I feel like he wants to bring out quadruple downlights here. We'll see. He's got the sword. He didn't really do that much on Mammoth Fortress. Crocky did a good job of avoiding all D-Light startups. And LDZ, instead of finding an air in a recovery, goes for that GC side light for more follow-up. And there's the D-Light. Finds that down air. LDZ taking the damage lead once again. Finds a D-Light. Dare goes for that side air read, but Crocky dodges out of the way of it. But LDZ still has a damage lead. Wow, both players just dodging around each other, not even going for moves, just trying to get that optimal read. And LDZ is missing those downlights. Nice little side air. Goes for the slide charge. Side sit. Crocky not able to punish on the side air from LDZ to punish the ground pound. Don't bump your head. Now's not the time. Yeah, LDZ now on the side of the stage. Makes it back on and Chase dodges in. But Crocky finding that neutral air. Goes for the second air. Recovery comes out with that side air. Punishes it. LDZ has the opportunity. There's the D light, but he goes for the dare. Triple D lights. That's right. Triple D light into recovery. And LDZ, reminiscent of how he fought against Mini Vestin on Mammoth Fortress, has taken a solid lead against Crocky in this game four, as he's probably upset about losing that game three in the way that he did. Ground pound from Crocky. LDZ has not a lot of options, but he has enough to get to the outside. He's got the lance, but gets picked up by the recovery from Crocky. And Crocky takes that stock of only after being brought into the orange. LDZ sees a weapon spawn. Crocky denies it. Tries to go in for a nair, but now he has to wait for a new thing to spawn, and he picks it up. It's the sword, not the lance. And putting out that side air. He's looking for another D-Light startup. Side light, nair. Oh, wow, that end sig was crazy close. But Crocky punishes it with some unarmed combos. Slide charge, side sig, not going to get it. Goes for a second. Grab oh, it, cancel no. it. Crocky. 
Able to put out a lot of pressure, but that dare from LDZ should be enough. And Crocky knows it. Dare is down. LDZ, what? What? I don't know. That scared me. But he, I guess he just wanted to put out a GCN light for show. He makes it back. But uh, LDZ being risky off stage today as he goes in for an air. Hits that recovery. Lance is picked up. Siders as well. Hits that cider and tries to go for a neutral light follow-up. And it was kind of a good read as Crocky did jump into it, but just not into the hitbox. LDZ trying to continue to further extend his lead. Neutral air recovery thrown out from Crocky. Ooh. LDC deep on the red now. Tries to find that down air. Down air comes out from Crocky. And Crocky just ground pounds in place. LDC tries to sidelight punish, but the down stick nearly hits. LDC gets the Sarah instead. Nair follow up. LDC looking for that D light. He gets it. Down light there. Tries to go for the D light reset, but Crocky finds that down air. He's so heavily damaged now. G LDC trying to punish L uh, Crocky for being in that position after recovering. And he's got Crocky in kill percent. Unless he makes a huge mistake like he did in game three, I think he's got this. He dodges out of the way that recovery and brings Crocky deep into the red. And that ground pound will finish off that stock. LDZ, like you said, should be able to finish this off just a little bit. But the nice little spear string. It's a dare. LDZ needs to pick up some sort of weapon. Crocky's not letting him do it. There's a lance. And Crocky has basically evened up the health, but it doesn't matter because the neutral sig. The neutral sig comes out, the horse sends Crocky flying, and damage is completely even. Whoa. That's interesting. Shows um shows how great Roland's defense is. As we're going into game five. So Crocky has to win this next game if he wants the chance to be able to win the tournament. LDZ, he can lose it. He'll get another best of five and he can just potentially 3 0 him right afterwards. Either way, I didn't see what legends that we have here, but LDZ and Crocky are going to be going to game five in just a little bit. This is the closest that Crocky's ever made it against LDZ. The last time we had a best of three, Crocky versus LDZ, it was brutally one sided, a 3 0. This is much different. Crocky has definitely been improving and LDZ. It's kind of struggling. So we're going to be able to see what he's going to be able to do in this game five. And we see the Rax coming out. Wait, is that Rax from Crocky? Yeah, that's a Crocky Rax. All right. All right, I, I'll take it. This is the first time I've seen Crocky play Rax in turn. I've seen it in scrims. I've seen it in friendlies. Three, this is a Crocky Rax in grand finals. Brawl. All right. Here we go. Crocky on Rax. Versus LDZ. I don't dislike it. I mean, you got the guns. You got more decks this time. But, uh, I, 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 I will find out. LDZ's got a sword. Crocky has got the guns. Can LDZ get the triple down lights? There's dare. one. There's a dare. And There's a second a dare. dare. And a There's third a dare. dare. Okay. LDZ, don't, you don't need double lights. You got dares. LDZ taking next to no damage. I mean, it technically, it's almost a triple down light because you're holding the same direction. So... And pressing the same button. Right, but there you go. LDZ's got the lance. He's gonna try to get something going on to Crocky now. Weapon toss into a nice neutral air. Ooh. Slide charge side say Crocky not able to punish. LDZ went for a dare. And he makes it back safely. Able to get that wall touch before hit by that ground pound. Neutral and comes out. Crocky fails to punish. And neutral sick. <laughs> LDZ gets his own side light neutral sick. Crocky disarmed. Oh no. LDZ's opening up the stables. He's sending out all the horses. Four neutral sigs, and no kills just yet from them. Oh Not my that gosh, weapon toss that chase touch weapon toss reminds me of that, um, was it Jellyfish who made that Roland sound video or whatever, of just all Roland signature sounds. Either way, LDZ, you're right. Spamming N6 and finding those kills, Crocky, not making the Rex pick work. Let's let's just put it that way. LDC just now entering kill percent. He's hit by a side. Oh no, we're recovering nearly connecting. Crocky, oh. he's hit by a Oh, that's oh, it! The dares! That is it! LDC wins it with a three stock in game five of the grand finals. Only 395 damage done.